Hi everyone, my name is Shauna and case you don't welcome back to another video. Guess what? I finally charged my camera. So hopefully better quality and I can look up stuff on my phone if I need to while filming. So this is working out just fantastic. I finally charged it. It's been a few months since I used my camera last. Today I'm going to be doing the Hufflepuff book tag. I'm a Hufflepuff in case you don't know so I thought this tag would be really fun to do. So this tag just has a bunch of questions relating to being a Hufflepuff and all the different traits about being a Hufflepuff. If I can find the tag creator I'll of course link them down in the description below and of course all the questions will be linked down in the description below. If you're a Hufflepuff and you make book related videos on your YouTube channel then I highly recommend doing this tag. First things first, Harry Potter. Which Harry Potter book is your favorite? And for me that is of course Goblet of Fire. I love this book so much. I love the Triwizard Tournament and I love all of the new characters you get to see in this book from the different wizarding schools, specifically Victor Crumb, Fleur Delacour, and Gabrielle Delacour. They are so fantastic. I am going to be doing a reread of the Harry Potter series this year, just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm trying to start this new thing where I reread the Harry Potter series every single year and I'm going to see how this turns out. I might be successful, I might not. I don't know. I'm not good at rereading books, I just really want to get better at it. So, trying to do a challenge from this year to every year in the future, reread the series once a year. Hopefully this will work out well. Next up is loyalty. Hufflepuffs are known for their undying loyalty. Name an insta buy author. I have a lot of different authors I could choose for this, but I think I'm going to choose Kristen Simmons for this. Kristen Simmons is such a phenomenal writer. Kristen writes young adult books, but her books have such a wide range of topics that they cover and they're all very unique and interesting. Next up is animals slash magical creatures. As Hufflepuffs, we tend to have a great love for animals. Name a book slash series that has your favorite animal slash magical creature in it. Is it cheating to use Harry Potter for this? It might be cheating. But I can't think of any other books on top of my head that has my favorite animal in it. What other ones have animals in it? Wait, I did think of one. I did think of one with an animal that I liked that's not Harry Potter. Let me go grab it. Here we go. Beautiful Creatures by Cameron Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So there is a cat in here named Lucille. And Lucille is fun. And Lucille is a cat. But like, she's also a full fleshed out character that really helps the main protagonist. So I really like how she isn't just like this cat that just put in there to be a cat. She like has a purpose to the story and a connection to the crazy story that goes on in this series. So Lucille is who I'm choosing for this because I don't want to cheat by choosing Harry Potter. Next up is trustworthy. We Hufflepuffs are very trustworthy. However, books can also be very trustworthy. Name a series in which none of the books disappointed you. This is hard because I feel like my answers have changed recently because I used to say that like Hunger Games would be a trustworthy one but then The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes came out and now I'm like Mm, it's a little bit disappointing that one. So I think I'm gonna choose one that didn't have any unnecessary sequels or prequels. I think I'll choose one of those. So for this one I'm choosing a solid trilogy that I really hope doesn't get any unnecessary sequels or prequels because all the books in this trilogy were not disappointments to me. They were absolutely phenomenal. It starts with Cloaked in Shadow, Ghost to Found in Night, then Ghost to Poisoned in Light. This series is phenomenal about shifters with elemental control and it's just such a good series. I love it so much. All of the books were equally fantastic. I was not disappointed by anything that happened in this series. I mean, I was definitely sad because there was a character that I really liked who was killed off, but, you know, it's not necessarily disappointing because it made sense in the context of the story, you know? Caring. Us Hufflepuffs care for others a lot, even fictional characters. Name a book slash series whose main character holds a special place in your heart. So I'm going to choose Ember from the Article 5 series. I have the first book right here. Ember is such a fantastic main character that I care for so much. Whenever she was in pain and struggling, I was in pain because I just cared about her that much and I like sort of connected to her and bonded with her even though she's just a fictional character but like I read this series when I was in a really hard point in my life and seeing her be so strong and push through with all of the things that she was facing gave me the strength to get through some of the hardest things in my life so Ember is definitely a character that I care a lot about that will always hold a special place in my heart. Kindness. Hufflepuffs always strive to be kind to others no matter who they are. Name a book slash series that you love despite its flaws and imperfections. I feel like there's a lot that I could choose for this. I have a lot of series that I like that are like unpopular opinions that I like the series. For this prompt I'm gonna go with the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I'm currently holding it in chronological order not in publication order. So we have the Kill Order, the Fever Code, the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, the Death Cure, and Crank Palace, but Crank Palace takes place like in the middle of the Death Cure. Anyways, this series is inherently flawed, but I love it so much. It has some of my favorite fictional characters of all time. This series is just so great, but it is flawed because it is like 
confusing and there is unanswered questions that never get resolved by the end of the series. However, I love this series. I will defend it until I die. It's such a phenomenal series and I'm definitely choosing this one for the kindness prompt. And the final prompt is patience. Hufflepuffs tend to be very patient and that's a useful trait when reading slow paced books. Name a book you struggled to get through but stuck it out until the end. I am going to choose one that I recently finished. So I recently read The Last Legacy by Adrian Young and I found this to be a very slow paced book but I stuck with it and it was a struggle to get through certain parts of this book. However, I stuck with it. I read the whole thing. It did get a little better by the end. However, this book is just really slow paced and there isn't much action happening. It's really a drag to get through in certain parts and yeah. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion though because I looked at the reviews and there was very mixed reviews on this book. For me personally, I thought this book was like just okay, but as for like pacing, I found it to be really slow and not too too interesting, but I liked two of the characters like a ton. But this is definitely a book where my patience had to come through with this because if I were to DNF books, I probably would have DNF'd it in the middle. So that was all for this Hufflepuff book tag. I hoped all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. All of my other social media will be linked down in the description below. As I said, all of the prompts for this tag will be down in the description below in case you want to do this tag. I upload videos twice a week, so my next video will be uploaded this Friday. I hope all of you stick around to watch that one, and until next time, Goodbye.